using the customized session handling wizard. Web applications use different methods to maintain a user's session state. The most common way is to use session IDs. A session ID is a piece of data used to uniquely identify the user to the server. Bearing in mind that the server is communicating with many clients and must be able to identify one from the other. This video will describe the process of using the customized session handling wizard within TrueDog Explorer to find and handle the session related data. So first we need to record a script. The first step in any recording is to clear the recording browser's cache and cookies. I will continue to model the script. This is our Shop It sample application. The purpose of this application is to represent a normal e-commerce website. I am going to purchase an item and check out of the store. Once the recording is complete, I will save the script. Remember to always close the browser before closing the recorder. So let's run a try script. You will notice that the first pages seem to have loaded successfully and are shown in the render tab giving a visual representation that the correct page has been returned during replay. However, below it is obvious that some errors have occurred. This is obvious both within the application because the wrong page has appeared, but also on the info tab, which shows the HTTP error code. Moving to the next error shows HTTP 1062, form not found. This is the most common session related HTTP error because the reason the form can't be found is because the application is not on the correct page because the state has been lost due to an invalid session. The cause of these errors is that the recorder has picked up a session ID and hard coded it in the script. When we replayed we tried to use the same session ID which was hard coded but this will not work because it is now expired. To use the customized session handling wizard, click on the Analyze Test button and choose Compare Your Test Run. This will load the recorded true log in compare mode against the replay true log, which was already loaded. The Step Through True Log dialog will also appear. To use the wizard, switch to the Source Differences tab, check the option to keep true logs synchronized, and select the first API call, and then start clicking the Find Next button. The TrueLog Explorer is comparing the page's source code on replay with that of the page's source code during record. Any differences will be detected and the TrueLog Explorer will try and decide if it is possibly a session ID. When a session ID is found, the ID is displayed with a message in orange highlighting that a difference has been found between record and replay. It also highlights if the difference appeared in the source code of the page and if it occurs in the BDL script. To recap what is happening at this point, we are comparing the server response between record and replay to see if any differences occurred. If a difference did occur, then this will need to be parsed and variableized so that the correct session ID can be picked up and used in future replays. So double click the orange bar to load the parsing wizard. The parsing wizard dialog box contains the following components. The ID which caused the problem the variable that we will use to replace the hard-coded ID in the script. You can obviously edit this. The left and right boundaries of the parse operation. Whether we want to print or write out the ID during replay. How many occurrences of the ID were found to be hard-coded in the script. And also whether we want to replace them with the variable. So click OK and the wizard modifies the script. 
So looking at the script we can see an addition of the S form ID variable which will be placed in the DCL form section where the ID appeared hard coded. You can also see the parsing statement which the wizard has added. Now when replaying the script should be successful. Now when we replay the script when the server presents the new session ID the parsing statement will pick that session ID up and place it inside the variable this variable will then be used in any place in the script where the session ID was previously hard-coded. Therefore, on each replay, we're picking up and presenting the brand new session ID. This should allow the replay to be successful. When using the customized session handling wizard, it's important to note that you should only make one change to the script at a time and then replay the script to ensure that unnecessary changes aren't made.